Good morning. It's Sunday, January 13th, and I have a rhino. That is totally not the sound that rhinos make. I don't actually know what kind of sound rhinos make. Anyway, you'll notice confidence and not stuttering and all kinds of non-awkwardness. I still have that little part tucked away inside of me somewhere, and it's screaming to get out, but I'm going to keep it in a cage for now, and we're going to see how today goes. Hopefully it's improving over yesterday. I also moved the microphone so you can hear me. Crazy idea, I know. Today's topic is write about it. When you have a philosophy degree, people sometimes think that you can sort out their lives, even though, let's be honest, you're really trying hard to sort out your own, and you can't make head or tail of that. That's why you have a philosophy degree. They come to me and they say, Jim, because it's my name, I, I have this thing I want to do, or I just don't know what I want to do. What, what should I do? And I, of course, have no idea. But the advice I always give people is the advice that people started giving me uh, around when I when I finished my master's degree and I was and I was in the same position, which is write about it. I mean, take some time out of your day and just write about it. Create a blog, a Tumblr, a Twitter account, whatever, and write about it. I'm going to say these words a lot. What writing about it does is help you connect with other people who are interested in the same thing or who are in the same situation. And those people exist. Believe me, there are lots of them. This is the internet. It takes all kinds. And if you write about it, they can find you and you can talk about it. So when I was in grad school, I wrote about writing my thesis and what writing my thesis was like. And it helped. It made me feel better about it. It made me more interested in it. And it made sure that I didn't just write my thesis. I also had to do a whole lot of other things in order to stay sane. I'm not going to say it worked. I'm just going to say that I did a lot of things to stay sane. So let's say you have, you, you want to make music or you want to, you know, find it, even find a job in your field, write about the kinds of things you can do. Write about the kinds of things you want to do. Write about, even if you don't know what to write about, write about not knowing what to write about. There's three great reasons to do this. First, it gives people a chance to really get interested in what you're doing. You can get feedback. You can draw attention to it. If you're looking for partners or help, that's the way to do it. If you never talk about it with anybody, if you play it really close to the vest, then no one will ever know about it and it will never be a thing. The myth of the self-made man is just that. It's a myth. Please let it go. You are made infinitely stronger by collaborating with other people. And the way you collaborate with them is to tell them about what you want to do and get them to help you or help them. They're going to bring you tons of criticism. And writing about it and putting those ideas out there is going to help you understand how to make them better and how to use that criticism. Back when I was finishing up my undergrad, most of my stories revolve around university. I just finished my master's degree. I finished my undergrad the year before, both in philosophy at the University of Waterloo. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll talk about it at length. You can find it more on my website, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But, oh, wow, that thing's like right under my face. My microphone stand is slowly sneaking up on me like a ninja. I'm not going to edit that out. Where was I? Son of a bitch. Right. When I was finishing up my undergrad, I wanted to be a professor. I wanted, that was my goal. It's not my goal anymore. I'll admit, you know, times change, things change, people change, but it was, but I was, and I had all these, these sort of ideas about weird things and philosophy and, and I'm, I come up with a lot of weird things, let's be honest. And I was nervous about having people critique them. I mean, I liked it. I wanted it. I welcomed it. But at the same time, I was really nervous about it because what if everything I thought was wrong? What if they told me it was a stupid idea? I mean, it's one thing for people who are dumb to tell me it's a stupid idea, but it's something else entirely for people who are intelligent, people who I respect, to come to me and say, Jim, actually, you should, no, stop wasting your time with this. And, I mean, sometimes I listen to them and sometimes I don't, but I think that I, I was worried that it would really hurt my feelings. So I said, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to blog about it and I'm going to I'm going to make this blog and I'm just going to write and I'm going to put my stuff out there and 
if I put my stuff out there, I'm going to have to get used to it. I'm going to have to get used to it. It's the internet. People are always willing to be mean to you on the internet. So I'm going to have to get used to people coming at me with criticism. I'm going to have to get tougher and I'm going to learn how to get stronger from that criticism. I mean, if I really back these ideas, these concepts, these projects, then I need to want them to be better. I need to welcome that criticism. And I need to learn when to brush off the bad stuff and when and how to distinguish the bad stuff from the good stuff. But the only way I could do that is by putting it out there. The only way I could do that is by sort of, is taking the risk. So, I mean, that's reason number two. The third reason is it will make you better at doing what you're doing. It will make you better at explaining yourself. It will make you better at figuring out what you want. If you start writing about not knowing what you want to do, you will continue explaining things until things will start to make more sense to you. And it's great. It feels wonderful. If writing is what you want to do, then that's so much better. Just start doing what you want to do and suck at it. You get this chance to learn from the mistakes that you make. A chance that you would never ever have without actually doing it. I mean, this video blog is a prime example of that. I am still trying to figure out how to get good video audio on my music mic. I'm not an audio guy. I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm just sort of learning it as I go. Uh, you know, I've got my little tiny webcam and I'm staring into it and I'm talking into it and I've got, I've got lighting and that kind of thing. But I mean, look at last week. My goal is to be better than last week. My goal is to, to, to take that one more step. But the first step is to write about it. And I mean, it's not just write about it, you know, to make a video, make a song, talk about it, but put it out in some kind of place that's not quite inside your control that other people can see. This week's song is an example of exactly that. A year and a half ago, I decided I want to be less self-conscious about my music. I've been playing guitar for 15 years. I've been singing for even longer. and But I never sang or played for people. I just, it made me so nervous. I could get up and juggle in front of a crowd. I could do a talk. I could do a, I could perform a play, but I couldn't sing in front of people without being so freaked out about what they would think. And then I did it once and it was, it went kind of okay. And I went, okay, I can do this. And then I was sitting on the bus and I, and I, had this song in my head and I wrote this song and I and I played it on my guitar and I went, this is pretty good. And, I, and somebody heard it and they went, yeah, you know, it's okay. It's, it's no, it's no top 40 hit, but it's, it's not bad. And I went, huh? So I got some music stuff for, for my guitar and a pickup and some of this recording software. And I did a short recording session where I, I just rented a microphone. I did it in my basement and I thought, okay, well, what am I going to get out of this? I had a couple songs that I'd written, but I had the microphone for the whole weekend. So I wanted to do more, but I couldn't think of anything to write. I had a bunch of seeds, just sort of words or phrases or ideas. And I turned a couple of friends' poems into songs, which was absolutely amazing and a lot of fun. But I didn't know what to do. I was sort of sat there at a loss. I really wanted to make some music, but I didn't have anything to write about. I didn't have anything to say. So I wrote about that, and I wrote a song about that, and this is it. So this week you get a song that I wrote about a year and a half ago, and I re-recorded it for today, and I'm much more comfortable with it. And it's a much better song now than it was, because now I love making music for people, and I love putting it out there, and I'm not nervous about it. If you have something that you want to do, and it's the kind of thing you can't just start doing because of risks that are involved, you know, financial risk or, or social risk or that kind of thing, write about it. Let every, let other people see it and let other people get on board. And once you get other people on board, once you, I mean, I mean, you get a little bit of encouragement in there, you'll be surprised. All right, here we go. Some people send me poems to turn into songs but my views they do not reflect they're about love
lost love for just being lost their poems what did you expect no i want to write songs that are jaunty oh i want to write songs that are fun i don't know i find it so daunting but maybe this could be one. Yeah, why not? Two, three, four. Is this a song about singing? Is this a song about my delight? Is this a song about singing? Is this a song about the songs that I could write? I can write a song in the key of G about 10th century tapestry. Or switch it up in the key of D and write about how bad it was in 1st century BC. I can write a song to give away or another song that's just for me. I can write about power chords, using power chords, that's irony. I could write about the color blue, a kangaroo, my trip to Peru. I could write about peer review, or I could write a song just for you. You know, if I, if I knew you. Which, well, I don't. But, I mean, I'd like to. So, I don't know, leave a comment or throw me a tweet and we'll talk. I don't know, we'll do something. It'll be awesome. Oh, right, sorry. Uh. This is a song about singing About the feelings that I'd inside This is a song about singing This is a song about the songs that I could write This is a song about singing This is a song about my delight There's a song about the songs that I could write. One last thing. Here's my smile for today. I've been juggling since I was about 10, and I absolutely love doing it. I'll throw a link in the show notes to a talk I gave on juggling so you can learn yourself if you want to. In the meantime, I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you like it, subscribe or tell your friends.